Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you guys are new. Today's video is going to be all about my commuter versus resident experience at Montclair State because I know before coming here, I was very, very unsure if I should dorm or I should commute. So right now I'm a sophomore if you guys don't follow my channel and I'm residing as we can tell, dorm background. But last year, my freshman year, I was a commuter and so I'm going to share all of my fears and how everything was being one or the other. So first we're gonna go through my experience as a commuter. I feel, in my opinion, that basically everything is what you put into it. So making friends, if you introduce yourself to people in class, talk to people, you're gonna make friends. Even as a commuter, freshman year, like I did make friends and I have some that I still will text once in a while. If I have a class with them, I'll still sit with them in the class. Isabella, my literal roommate, I met freshman year through a Zoom class. So you just never know, guys. You never know where things are gonna lead you or where friendships are gonna lead you. We were in a group project together and we like really got along. Then through that, we decided to like hang out and FaceTime and stuff like that. As a commuter, also there are like different clubs and like events and stuff you can still join. So I was part of the club I'm in now, freshman year. So I met a bunch of people through that. And then there's also like literally an organization that is for commuters. So you can do different like events with them too, which is really cool. And then also one thing you have to remind yourself is if you're a commuter and you want to make friends there's a hundred percent other commuters out there who also want to make friends you're never gonna be the only person who's a commuter and wants to make friends so it's basically just putting yourself out there another like pro of being a commuter is you really do have to learn the campus because you're just getting put out there and just like going to class and then most times you'll want to get like food after or you'll want to like walk around so you do learn the campus pretty quickly here's the thing now guys parking i personally had so much anxiety about parking because you always hear on any college campus like parking is so hard parking is so difficult here's my thing parking is going to be difficult if you get there 10 minutes before your class get there with enough time and you will be fine there's plenty of spots but also i think it's depending on like where you want to park so you might have to get a spot in a lot that you're not like used to but it's still a lot that you can park at so overall my commuter experience was that it was really good and i might even commute again senior year because obviously if you're dorming it's more expensive so my kind of main takeaway from being a commuter is everything is what you make it So now for like residents and residing and dorming the juicy stuff friends I would say obviously it's going to be pretty easy to make friends because everyone's in literally the same boat So kind of like with friends and everything like that We're gonna talk about a weekend life you guys have seen from my vlogs that I go out a lot of people do so I'm not just being like oh my god like I have so many things too but if you want to go out trust me there are going to be opportunities for you to go out and also too we are so close to the city and to the center of Montclair that even if you're not like a party girl or anything like that you can do a day in the city you can do a day in Montclair if you guys haven't seen my city day in my life I'll have it up here the convenience of being so close to the city is literally insane another little bonus of just the campus in general if you guys are big like Instagram people so many picture opportunities Montclair Hoboken NYC even the campus guys I'll insert a picture that I literally took on campus for me personally living at home my town's in literally the middle of nowhere so being here is so cool because I'm close to the mall I'm close to the city close to this and that restaurant so there's a lot to do so now you're wondering how am I gonna get there Paige let me tell you let me tell you there is parking opportunities even for residents because I know that I was curious about that so there's a place called NJ transit which is where you would go to take the train to the city and then there's a big parking garage there so that's where I park my car you can walk there or you can shuttle there so for me it's really nice because I have access to my car yet I'm living on campus so it's not like I'm leaving all the time because my car is there Okay, so that's basically my rundown of living on campus. And now to finish it up, I'm gonna give you guys a few more pointers. So like my mental health I'm gonna talk about and also like connections with my family and friends at home. So for a commuter, obviously being at home, like your mental health is however it is at home, your family life, however it is at home. But being a resident, that is going to change. For me, the biggest way to do that was keeping a routine. Cause I think it's really, really easy to have a great routine when you're at home and then come to campus and not have that routine. And sometimes I, even have days where I'm off and don't follow a schedule and that's okay but it does definitely help if you guys need like a little tip about that and then as for my family we're very lucky very lucky that we live in a digital age you know what I'm saying I feel like through like FaceTime and everything like that I've been able to have the same relationship with them a little tip that I have is like setting up scheduled FaceTime calls I have that with so many family members like Monday at this time Wednesday at this time we talk every week and that makes me still maintain those like really close relationships 
So kind of like my big takeaway and big summary for commuting or dorming is everything is what you make it. I have a lot of vlogs on my channel from when I was a commuter and when I was a resident. So you guys can see the contrast if you want like more in depth of literally what the day looks like. But just know that either way, you're gonna have a really good experience here because I have had a really good experience here. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you guys so much and I hope to see you in my next ones. Bye guys.